Grandfather! I figured you'd come. I've been waiting for you. Grandfather, please help us. We want to save St. Bina. Yes, I suppose we must. Though we are fearful of deviating from the score. Before we talk, I'd like to let the people from St. Bina get some rest. Oh, yes. Let us take them in. Thank you. Luke, don't be discouraged. What? Jade rarely scolds people. Uh, what he said earlier shows that he's taken a liking to you. Field Marshal, don't put words in my mouth. Old folks don't have time to bother scolding people we don't like. Jade is no different. Honestly, of all the things to say, I'm going on ahead. <laughs> he pegged him. Guess Jade has a few soft spots after all. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the way you said that, Annis. Tear. Um, thanks. What's this, all of a sudden? You've scolded me from the very beginning. Oh, that was just, I mean... I mean, you were pretty intolerable earlier in the game. <laughs> it's weird. I always thought of getting scolded as a bad thing. It's not a good thing either. I know that. Ah, oh, lover squirrel. A man named Ash. Every time I come here, I think about Ash. Yeah, because this is where like Ash took over or something. Ash. Yeah, he told me the truth about myself. And through him, I learned a little about the world around me. That may be what really got me thinking that I need to change. I see. He always used to get in our faces and pick fights and all, but lately he's just left us alone. You're right. I wonder what he's trying to accomplish. The next time we encounter him, it may not be as an enemy. You're not telling me I have to get along with him. I'm saying that we may not have to fight him. Oh, one day. One day, just you wait. When Ash appears, it's always been for something important, one way or another. Don't forget that. I'll try. Can people change? I don't know, dude. Well, at least we reach Yulia City safely. Though the people from St. Bino will probably take a while to get used to it. Yeah. And it looks like Jade's finally starting to approve of you, Luke. Yeah, it's about frickin' time. Not just Colonel, either. Annis, Natalia, and of course us, too. We all think you're doing well. I can't really tell myself. I'm just doing what I have to. I haven't had a chance to really try and change myself or think about how I used to be. Well, to be honest, nobody would believe you if you came out saying, I'm gonna change, all the time. Indeed. Don't laugh about it. In any case, sorry. Let's finish what we have to do. I, I read that backwards. I don't know why. I really like this idea of, like, you know, obviously, like, Luke getting the haircut and Luke saying, oh, he has to change and feeling regret about what he did to Xeriuth was really good. I really like this theme of, like, again, when Tyr said, I still remember when Tyr said, like, oh... You're gonna have to show me that you really want to change. Like, saying you want to change isn't enough. And they're really hearkening this theme of, like, oh, like, you say you want to change, but actions speak louder than words, kind of giving across that message. And then everyone's slowly accepting Luke again at their own rates. Like, Jade is now starting to accept them. And Tyr was kind of on the fence about accepting him. It's, it's really good. I love the way they handle Luke's character and his change throughout the game. And it makes how he was in the beginning of the game necessary for this kind of character development. I really like it. Oh no, this is terrible. What am I going to do? What's wrong? Here, I went, I went to replenish supplies and forgot to buy weapons. Master Teodoro is going to be angry with me again. You never learn, do you? What'd you forget this time? 
If I can just get five maces. Oh, it's a lot of maces. I don't have any maces. Alright, I'll have to go back and get maces. I think that... Does that close out before the absorption gate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The absorption gate... Um, is when that closes out. So we have to make sure we get that done before the absorption gate. I think you can buy maces. I could be wrong, though. And there should be another quest. Oh, save point, save point. I'm gonna save my game. Yet again. There should be another side quest. Yeah, outside of Tyr's house, talk to someone, and then we could do another side quest right now. Thank you for your efforts. We'll have to live from here on out. I, I thought he would repeat the same dialogue. I used to live in St. Bina. Man, that was a close call. But I left my home in a hurry, and the only valuable I have now is this arcane art text. That's an Albert-style text. Did you buy that in Battle? Why, yes, indeed I did. That originally belonged to my family. Can I have it back? This is all I have left, and I bought it for such a large sum of money. How much I'll pay? Oh, I'm broke. I do not have that much. Oh my word, did, did you crash again, game? What is going on with ECSX2 today? Are you kidding me right now? Are you joking me? This is really annoying. Imagine if I didn't just save there. This is getting to become really tedious. Like, even if I don't lose progress, it's very annoying. I'm gonna have to see what's up. I'm gonna have to see, like, hey, what causes this to stop, because really, like, I've never... When I played Tales of Destiny, I did not have, like... I've got maybe once of, like, my 50 hours of playing that time. Maybe of, of my playthrough, I probably had, like, one occasion. But I'm, like, 22 hours in the game, and I've had, like, five different occasions of PCSX2 crashing on me. So I don't know why, if it just, like, hates Tales of the Abyss or something. Because I had, like, very little, if any, problems with Destiny Director's Cut. If anything, the only problems I had were the game's performance, but it never made the game crash. I think it was when he said 40,000 gold. We don't have that much. But if we explain the situation to my parents, they'll fire the maid. How about taking the money in exchange for valuable hard work? Work? Just do something to help your mother. A doting, I mean. Kind mother. Will surely be happy to give you money. Colonel, how could you say things like that? Still, he's right. If Luke were to offer to help his mom out, she'd probably be beside herself with joy. Okay, let's try it. Do I gotta, like, actually go back to Batical? I think that was it. I don't know what it has against Tales of the Abyss. Like, I really don't. I've had very, like, again, maybe one, there was like one issue where it crashed of my 50 hours, but I'm like 22 hours and I've already had more problems with this game than Destiny. Trying to think, I think that's all I used PCSX2 for when it came to streaming. I'll get to the point. 
Is there any way to save Singbina? Oh, this is a difficult problem. If only we had the key of Lorelei that Yulia used. The key of Lorelei? What's that? It's Lorelei's key. Try to keep up. It sounds kind of familiar. It refers to the sword and jewel of Lorelei. If I recall, it was used when creating the planet storm. I've also heard it referred to as the symbol of the pact between Yulia and Lorelei. Correct. The key of Lorelei is said to be a phonic weapon created by Yulia using the power of Lorelei. The sword of Lorelei gathers seven phonons and the jewel of Lorelei disperses them. It's said that the key itself is made of seventh phonons. Supposedly, Yulia summoned Lorelei into the key and freely commanded that power. Whether that is true or not, what is true is that it could control the Sephiroth. But once the planet storm was formed, the key of Lorelei was cast down into the core. Yes, we can't use something we don't have, something that may not exist at all. In any case, I suspect it would be impossible to lift St. Bina back up to the Outer Lands. Hmm, is there really nothing anyone can do? It may be possible to at least prevent it from sinking beneath the liquefied surface. With the Sephiroth? Yes, they are controlled by devices called Passage Rings. By using the Passage Ring to restore the Sephiroth, we might be able to keep St. Bina afloat. Where is the passage ring that controls the Sephiroth tree for the St. Bina region? At Shuri Hill. It's to the east of St. Bina. That's where I was taken when I was captured on the Tartarus. At the time, I thought it would still be protected by the Albertesque and Yulian seals. The Albertesque seal disappeared once the passage rings for Had and Exeriuth were destroyed. But the Yulian seal should not unlock until the promised time. But the Commandant must have unlocked it and operated the passage rings, right? Yes. Even we don't know how he did it. Let's worry about that later. How do we operate the passage ring? I've heard that all of the control panels require the use of the seventh phonon. Well, we've got three people who can use that. Tyr, Luke, and myself. The other issue is whether Van has done anything to damage the passage ring. We won't know that until we get there. If it's east of St. Bina, then it's probably falling along with the city. Passage ring at Shuri Hill. I hope it actually works. I doubt Van will be leaving it untouched for us to use. Indeed, his planning so far seems to be impeccable. That sounds sarcastic for some reason. How odd. I meant it quite literally. Well, thinking about Van won't accomplish anything. We'll just have to visit Shuri Hill and see. Yeah. Check in me a second. I have to really quickly respond. I have like half an hour. We're not going to be able to finish Shuri Hill probably, but we'll, we're probably just going to go because there's nothing, there's no like side quest to do. But I think we're just going to go start Shuri Hill. We will probably go to Shuri Hill and see how much progress we can make. We're like 37s, like 30, like we're like mid 30s too. I could see us finishing Act 2 probably like in the late 40s, early 50s. 
Although maybe not, because I think... Maybe now we're getting into the gameplay stuff, because now we're going to start going after the Sephiroth and everything. So this is probably where the gameplay part of Act 2 starts to ramp up, because it's been a lot of, like, go to this town. Go to this town, see some cutscenes, then go somewhere else. With very little battle sprinkled in. So I'm assuming this is the other lands. Or do I go to Shuri Hill from here? Considering that was supporting the area around St. Bill, apparently under Shuri Hill. Do what I think it does. No, it does not. Okay. No, they didn't say where. Probably right there. Pop up. Hit me up with a save. Walk is Natalia because we haven't, uh, this will be the final, like, uh, this is the sixth stream of the game, so this will be the final stream where we would have walked as everyone, so from here on out, I'll just kind of walk as whoever I want, basically. Alright then. So Ion, where's the entrance? It's normally hidden away by a phonic art. If I recall correctly, the phonic art was created using three red phone slots and the fifth phone on. Three red phone stones. Hmm, the fifth phone on is the fire phone on, right? Hi. Okay. There's my chest. Lemon gel. Nice. Can I break this? Do I have to use fire because it's, uh... They just said fire. Alright, now this is just a dead end. Where are the monsters at? Are there like no enemies? There's probably a level three sorcerer's ring, I think, right? I feel like there is. I think there might be one more sorcerer's upgrade for Mew. I don't recall though. I don't recall what it is, but I'm pretty sure there's one more. If this were fire. Okay. Yeah. Can't climb that. Okay, you do hit these. Okay, my aim was just off. Alright. You have to just be very, really, really precise. 